And for more about the great man and what his passing means for South Africa, we are joined by South African ambassador to Korea, Hilton Anthony Dennis. Now, welcome to the program, Ambassador. Thank you for inviting me. Mm -hmm. So give us a thought or two about this great man. What did Nelson Mandela represent to the South African people? Well, Nelson Mandela is a very remarkable man. I believe people of his nature, caliber, emerge in every country probably once every thousand years. Uh, people of uh, remarkable uh, singularity of uh, purpose and a steel wool, wool that goes on to forge and shape a nation. But remember, Nelson Mandela has always been a symbol of a struggle. Um, so uh, there have been thousands of uh, people who participated in the shaping exercise. So we have in South Africa today a non-racial, non-sexist, democratic society, which people of diverse uh, origins and uh, racial characteristics, diverse languages live together in harmony. And that's his lasting legacy uh, to us. See, we also understand that the authorities in South Africa are working on a series of commemorative events, of course, including the, the state funeral. Can you walk us through what will happen in your country in the next few days? Well, this is a time of sadness and grief uh, and mourning in South Africa. And so all uh, events of a festival uh, character have uh, been largely uh, uh, terminated. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the state has uh, granted him a state funeral. Uh, it will most likely take place on this coming uh, Saturday. Well, can you tell us about Nelson Mandela's ties to Korea? Well, uh, and Nelson Mandela also shaped our relationship with uh, Korea because he was the first uh, president of uh, South Africa to visit Korea in 1995. He was our first democratically elected president, elected in 1994. So a, a year after his election, he visited Korea. The, he created the foundation which has, uh, in about 21 years' time, grown into a very dynamic trade relationship. Uh, Korea is now the uh, uh, number four trading partner of South Africa. Of course, it's uh, much more than uh, trade. Uh, Nelson Mandela also met Kim Dae-jung uh, when he visited so, uh, uh, Korea for the second time in uh, 2001 and uh, it might be of interest to your viewers to know that one of the things that they did discuss was the setting up of a peace park in the DMZ. Mm. So I'm sure he will be very gladdened to hear that this is one of the priorities of the current administration. Well thank you very much for your time tonight Ambassador. Thank you so much for inviting me.